we end our show with another incredible story of a stranger coming to the rescue. What makes it particularly remarkable is that this guardian angel was captured on videotape. It's a video miracle that takes us to Indian Lake in Ontario, Canada, where a 76-year-old woman is trapped in a boat spinning out of control. The boat had been spinning in circles for several minutes when Evelyn Bryan's yacht sailed by. We thought, oh my goodness, you know, what's happening? And then we saw people in water and we just didn't know what to do. Rick Faulkner, a friend of the victim, was watching from his dinghy. I knew that they had a full tank of gas. And I knew that Lee had had a heart condition uh, a few years earlier. And this is no easy thing to be hanging on the side of the boat. With every idea that we had to help her, we thought, well, no, this may hurt her even more. Finally, this boat seems that out of nowhere shows up. Dave Adams and his family had been sailing nearby when they heard the woman's screams. It's like hearing a child scream from a burning building. You, you do what you got to do. And so you're either going to sit there and watch her die or you're going to prevent it. To me, that's no choice. And my plan was to jump out of the boat I was in into the boat that she was hanging on to, and it didn't quite work out as planned. I ended up hanging on to the side. I thought, well, you missed, you know, but you're, you're still you can still do something. You, you got a hold of this boat, and all you have to do is pull yourself in. But that proved to be a little harder than I thought. Now there were two people hanging on for their lives. Well, when I saw him hanging on the other side of the boat, I was very happy to have company. Really, it just about then, I was beginning to think, what am I really going to do? as there wasn't much of anything that I personally could do. If I looked over, I, I could see her, I said, hang on, honey. I didn't want her to let go now. Hang on, honey. This other guy, Mr. Faulkner, was circling around, watching, trying to help. And, and he got too close, and we actually collided. I took a shot at the boat myself, which I shouldn't have done. It was probably a, a stupid maneuver, but I wanted to try, and, and I, I nearly wiped David off the side of the boat. I thought, that's it, break time's over, we got to get in this boat. When he got in the boat, we hear one of his children say, turn it off, Dad, turn it off. There was a, another guy in the water at that point to help Mrs. DeWitt. And I just sat there and I'm like, wow, I did it. It's a strange feeling to know that somebody risked his life to save your life. I really think that he is a true hero, and I am eternally grateful to him. If Mrs. Stewart has a guardian angel, I think that Mr. Adams is her guardian angel. I think he just arrived in time.